Make sure you're grounded. And as you're looking down at your feet, I want you to tell me the first thing that you imagine. Do you have anything on your feet? Or do you have any feet at all? It's bare feet. Bare feet. Mm -hmm. And as you're looking down at those feet, you'll see them, what kind of ground you're stood on. What's your landscape made of? Look at the ground and tell me. It's grass. It's grass. Mm -hmm. And I want you to use your senses now so that you can tell me. Do you feel that it's day or do you feel that it's night? It's day. It's daytime. And in this very special place where you are now, you're going to be able to connect with all your senses. So you're just going to know instantly whether you're male or you're female. Male. You're male. Mm -hmm. And in a moment I'm going to tap you on the forehead and when I tap you on the forehead you're going to see some numbers come to mind and that will be your age. So when you're ready, three, two, one, how old are you? 3,000. You're 3,000 years old. And as you look around now at your landscape you say that you're standing on grass. Describe to me what else is around you in your imagination. Pink flowers. Pink flowers. Mm -hmm. Four-sided. Four-sided? Four petals. Four petals. Mm -hmm. And can you tell me what country you're in. The first that comes to mind. Or are you somewhere else? Just see mountains. That's what we're doing. Mountains. Mm -hmm. And as you're on these mountains now, with these pink flowers, as you look around, can you sense whether you are with others or are you alone? I'm on my own. I want you to connect with your feelings and tell me, why are you on your own on this mountain? What is it that you're doing up there? Meditating. Meditating. Mm -hmm. Is there a particular purpose for this meditation? It's by a stream. A stream. By a stream. Mm -hmm. And are you seeking any particular answers to a question that you have? And in this lifetime, can I ask, do you live with other people in this life or do you live alone? Solitude. Solitude. Mm -hmm. And what's the purpose of this solitude? Someone is free. 
Enlightenment. Enlightenment. Mm -hmm. Well, now that I've got that information, what I want to do is I want to close that scene, but I want, if you can, to stay in the same timeline. So we go forward in that life to another important, significant time when something is happening in that lifetime. Some people stay in the same timeline, some people shift to another life. So when you're ready, just close that scene as if you were flicking the switch of a remote control and allow your mind now to drift and wander on that silver thread of your timeline. See yourself floating forwards, connecting with a significant time when something is happening. And I'm going to count from three to one. And when I get to one, you're going to be at that time. So when you're ready, three, just drifting and floating forward now. Two, making a connection with a significant happening and what be there now. Describe to me what's happening in the scene that you imagine. It's chaos. Mm -hmm. So describe what is happening. You're totally detached from any pain, fear or emotion. Why is it chaos? Protecting women. Mm -hmm. Invaded. You've been invaded? Mm. The monastery's been invaded. From the monastery. Mm -hmm. Who's invading the monastery? It's the army. Mm -hmm. And what is your role in that monastery? So why are the army invading this monastery? What's significant about this monastery or this place? Do the men have run to escape? And they came into the monastery. The army ran to escape? The women. The women. Mm-hmm. And they still break in. So they're after the women and you're protecting them? Yes. See this scene unfold before you as an observer. There's a village. Fire, smoke. Do you manage to protect the women? No, the armor breaks in to kill them. Mm -hmm. Kill me as well. And they kill you. So what I want you to do now is I want you to look down at that scene and see yourself there on the last day of your life and take a nice deep breath in. And I want you to take that breath in and as you take a nice deep breath in, I want you to just lift yourself out of that body. So you're about three or four foot above the body so that we can evaluate that life. What was the purpose of that life that you had there? It's a hunger for attaining uh, God. It's a hunger for attaining God. Mm -hmm. And how do you think that you did in that life? Failed. You failed? Failed to protect the women. Well, don't you think you were a bit outnumbered? Mm -hmm. Yes. So now that you're out of the body, 
It's normal at this time when you, your soul leaves the body that someone or something comes to collect you to take you home, whether that is to your soul group or whether you go to somewhere else. So as I continue to talk to you, what I want you to do now is to look around and sense that energy coming towards you. And the more I talk, the closer and closer that energy of that something or someone comes towards you until you can see it in front of you now. And describe to me what you see in your mind's eye. It's very tall. White. What's very tall and light? It's white. It's white. Is it a being or is it a beam of light? Describe it to me. It's got a long robe on. It's like white. It's all white. Mm-hmm. And what I want you to do now is I want you to invite the energy that you see there in this long row to get even closer to you so that you can step into the vibration of this energy that's come to collect you. So feel yourself stepping into their energy now. Sense what you're sensing. Magnify that sense. And tell me, how does this make you feel? Overpowered by remorse and regret. So it's more a sense of regret? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want you to telepathically communicate with this energy, this gift that has come to collect you, so that you can receive a message from them. So as I continue with my voice, you're connecting even stronger and see what message they provide for you. What do you feel? It's not my fault. Mm -hmm. It was written. It was written. Mm -hmm. Don't hold any regrets. Don't hold regrets. Mm -hmm. So now what I want to do is I would like to come with you now with this beam of light, this energy. And I'd like to travel with you to wherever it is that you're going, whether it's the universe or your group. So now as you drift up and up, we're all together now going up and up on your journey. Feel yourself and your soul getting lighter and lighter as you leave the memories of that body behind. Getting lighter and lighter as we travel to the next place, your next destination. And I want to count from three to one, and when I get to one, we're going to be there. Three, drifting up now, floating with this white energy in a long row. And one. Where is this energy taking you to? Where do you imagine you are? Take me to my new birth. Mm -hmm. And describe this birth to me. Are you male or female? Male. You're male. Mm -hmm. And what's the what's the contract? What's the purpose of this new birth? It's continuation. Mm -hmm. So the thing. person is still with me. The person still with you? Mm -hmm. Spirit, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Still there. It's still there. I want you to communicate with the, the soul energy that is there and ask them, have they been with you on many lives?
Oh, I am one of them. When you say you are one of them, what are they then? Are they different beings? Are they different souls? What are they? Who do they work for? We're holy people. You're holy people. Mm -hmm. And what's the purpose of you holy people reincarnating? Unfolding. Unfolding. Thank you. So now I've got all that information. I want to close the scene now from that realm. And I want to be able to speak to Dill's inner self, his subconscious mind. So as I'm talking to you now, I want you to take a deep breath in, Dill. And as you do, I want you to imagine that you're stepping away from your body now. To allow your subconscious mind to come forward, your inner self, or the per or the purpose or the guide that is working with you. And just allow them to engage with your body now so that they can use your throat to continue this journey with me. Good afternoon, energy. Do you have a name that I can call you? Are you male or female? Do you feel that this energy is light or heavy? Can I ask, do I have permission to speak with your master? I want you to put that communication out there into the universe. I want you to call on your master for me. And as you make the intention to call on your master, as we've now requested this information, I want you to feel him coming towards you now and connecting. Do I have permission to communicate with your master? I'd like to know why he comes to this stop when he wants to take this next step further. So I want you to be able to communicate with Source to bring that information down so that you have a better understanding of where you are now. So see yourself now going up, gathering all that information. What is it? that is preventing your master from providing you any more information. Tell me the purpose of this. Is it not a message for now? Do we have to wait for later? What I want to do now is I want to be able to do a body scan. So I'm going to ask your inner self now to work with me so that we can just do a body scan like an x-ray, a light x-ray that's going from the top of the head all the way down to the tips of your toes. So when you're ready, let's start at the top of the head and just go around that scalp area. And we're just looking for any energy that we can work with, anything that you might think that we can realign and adjust in any way. Going through the forehead now, down the face and the jaw, down the neck and across the shoulders. 
feel as if it's x-ray vision going down your torso and your arms into your heart and your tummy area all the way down to your hips to your thighs to your knees to your ankles to the very tips of your toes and if you could see yourself as light energy I want you to view your body now just to see if there's any dark shadows or anything disjointed there and tell me do you notice anything in your body that we can work on today? No. No. I'd like to ask a couple of questions now. And I want to ask, during his meditation, as you work with him on a daily basis, where does he go during his meditations? Where does he get this information from that he is able to relay to other people? Does he get it from different planets or does he download it? in a different way. Who gives him the information that comes to mind? And what is the purpose of him being here today, working through all the challenges that he has before him? What's his role? Because they've shut you down. Yeah. That's enough information for today. 